Hey guys, today we talk about my top five most overrated sneaker releases for 2017. Man, you guys are about to throw some tomatoes at me. Get your popcorn ready. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Casa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. So the topic you've all been waiting for, my top five overrated sneaker releases for 2017. Let's get straight into it, people. So number five is the Adidas Yeezy. 350 Hats, wait. guys i know a lot of people are crazy hyped over these sneakers but what are they socks on boost like i'm not like have you guys ever seen me wear a yeezy 350 boost no why because i don't like them they're overhyped and i think that people are going overboard with these sneakers i know i know i'm hashtag ranting but guys if Yeezy did not wear his Adidas Yeezy 350 boots, I guarantee you guys, nobody would be wearing them. Nobody would be talking about them. You ain't got the answers, man. To me, those sneakers are equivalent or analogous to the Nike Rochers, but they're on steroids. Obviously, they're more comfortable. Obviously, they're better. But they're the same thing. Knit sock on a sole. Period. But that's just me, that's my humble opinion. You guys can start throwing the tomatoes at me. I accept it. So my fourth overrated sneaker for 2017 are the Air Foam Posits, the Nike Air Foam Posits. Yes, my people on the East Coast are probably going to not like what I have to say, but to me, those sneakers are not wearable. Maybe I'm just not fashionable enough to rock them on the streets of Cali, but to me, they're too bulky, they're too colorful, they're too loud, and I just can't get with it. I like sneakers that are slimmer in nature. They have a nice texture to it and those things if you knock on them it's like knocking on you know hardwood or something like that the only people that i feel are allowed to wear foam posits are toddlers and kids because those things are sturdy as heck and as a matter of fact my young two-year-old wears those sneakers and she wears them with joy and i'm joyful because i know those sneakers 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 aren't going to get damaged additionally nike air Foam posits run in the 200s and above, and I understand that the material on the sneaker causes the sneaker to cost a little bit more. But heck no, I'm not spending $200 on those sneakers. Maybe that's only me, but to each his own, guys. My Kanyezy people are going to hate me. My third sneaker that is really, really, in my opinion, overrated in 2017 is the adidas yeezy wave runner 700 people what is going on with this sneaker this sneaker is malformed in addition to that it costs 300 dollars 300 dollars for this sneaker what is the difference between this sneaker and the sketchers somebody in the comment section below let me know i'm not even going to talk about it anymore i'm not even going to talk about it let's just skip over to number two so sneaker number two is the nike air mac guys guys ladies and gentlemen what's up what's up with this sneaker the only person allowed to wear this sneaker is michael j fox in the movie the only person <laughs> He's not a like this is not a practical sneaker to be wearing on a daily basis and in addition to that the price point hell of expensive for resale almost impossible to get if you can get your hands on them they're in the thousands and thousands of dollars so for me not good budgeting guys let's go up to number one so number one is the balenciaga triple s runner people I know you've seen the sneakers, and for those of you who rock this, and for those of you who are watching my video, explain to me why this shoe was dope, and why in earth you decided to buy it for $700 to $800. Like, I don't personally understand. Too much money for me. The sneaker is ugly. The sneaker is the Adidas Yeezy 700 Wave Runner on steroids. Like, I don't understand it. Why do people like this sneaker? I've heard the comments about the sneaker being something analogous to uh, a homeless person's shoes. And um, 
To me, I think that's an accurate description. Balenciaga, you guys made these sneakers to probably just mess with, you know, sneaker enthusiasts around the world, right? Like, it's a joke, right? All right, people, I hope you enjoyed my rant about my top five overrated sneakers for 2017. Let me know down in the comment section below what your overrated sneakers releases for 2017 are, and let's have a big discussion about it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate all of you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all on the next episode of Caustic Station. Deuces.